Hey Slimmies, how are you all doing? Today I have a brand new video. So it's late, I didn't have any time to film basically and I wasn't in the mood. I didn't want to film a video and I'm not in the mood. So today's a mixture of um, different shops. I have Primark, I've got Sainsbury's, I've got Home Bargains and Poundland. Um, so yes, without further ado, let's get on with this mixed small but biggish haul. Yes, I am actually wearing my North Face jumper. This is a large. It fits snug. When I lift my arms up in here, it all just... The shirt, it rides up. I cannot believe this is a large, but it rides up on me. I'm a size 12, and it just... It rides up. It's a joke. Um, but yes, I, it is quite cozy, though, this jumper. Um, I might be getting this video because in a week I'm going on a holiday. I can't wait for After Wales, can't flipping wait. Um, I've got one more shift and I'm done. Payday is next Friday and I shall be possibly going to Leeds. I'm hoping to go to Leeds. I probably will go to Leeds. Um, but yes, I'm like, there will be a entertainment bag, um, what's my entertainment bag and all sorts of my suitcase video as per usual every year. And I have done my nails. This is the nail Sally Hansen gel nail varnish and it's in the colour uh, what colour is it? Tipsy Gypsy. It is nice. Problem is, it's a really thin nail varnish. So it isn't like a proper thick coat. But I like the colour. And yes. So yes, I'm getting like, very excited to go on holiday. We're only going for a week, unfortunately. We booked too late. But we've got, we've got a week in Wales. I can't wait. Um, but yes, let's go with the haul. So Primark. As you'll see in the, in the Primark thumbnail. Oh my flipping god. They have brought out Groovy Chick merch. I was obsessed with Groovy Chick as a kid. And when I saw some Primark, when I went with Lucy on Tuesday, it will have been, yeah, it was Tuesday. I went shopping after we went trampolining. We've been going trampolining at Jump Inc. every Tuesday and Sunday. And because we had a five, um, five sessions for 35 quid, which was a bargain knowing it was, only it was gonna be 29 quid for one session for both of us together. Um, but yes, we've got five sessions and every time we come, we have to get bus into Leeds and then we get the 229 out of Leeds to Holbeck and then we get 229 back into Leeds and 34 back home. But yes, um, I went to Leeds afterwards, I went to Leeds afterwards and I went to Primark and I couldn't believe when I saw this. I was like, are you having an absolute laugh? I generally thought I was losing it at one point because just to have this sat there, I was like, I've been looking for Groovy Chick bags on Etsy and they're so extortionately priced but when I saw some Primark I was like oh my god I've got to have this I could not believe it Lucy kept asking me like what's that she was so confused about it and I was like look it was Rachel was obsessed with it and she was tiny I had everything Groovy Chick I loved Groovy Chick and yes they brought out the Groovy Chick tote bag purple tote bag with Groovy Chick herself and Groovy down the side I am absolutely in love this was only four pound and it is the official Bang On The Door merch. I cannot believe they brought it out. I'm so chuffed to have this. I cannot believe it. I love Groovy Chick so much. And they've also got makeup bags, but I'm not getting makeup bags, I don't need one. Uh, but yes, absolutely love it. I'm so pleased about it. I cannot believe they brought Groovy Chick out. Um, they need to bring out pajamas. They need to bring out like actual merch. But I think Groovy Chick is just such a nice thing that they're just keeping it back if that makes sense uh but yes that was four pound and then i saw this keith herring and mickey mouse collaboration bag um i must say mickey mouse does look quite freaky i this was an impulse by this i was like oh it's keith herring keith herring and mickey i was like i'll go on then so yes i bought this pink bright pink and um, there's also a black on gray um tote bag as well and this one was also four pound i think but they're quite big size they're quite nicely sized of these they're quite big so I'm really chuffed with the size of them. But yes, I got myself two new tote bags. I was definitely going to get the Groovy Chick one, but I didn't need this one. But I was like, it's Keith Herring, and it's like, to me, it's like designer, it's, you know what I mean? But yes, I got this bag as well. I've not used either of them yet because I don't want to get them mucky. They're tote bags. If I put them in the wash, the stickers, the like the bits that are actually on top, the decals are going to probably peel off, and I don't want that. Um, but yes, got that from Primark. And then, also in Primark, I got myself some new boots. Oh, God. These are like Doc Martens knockoffs. The boots I've got now, they are knackered. They need any new ones. I saw these on the North Chance when I went in. I just literally looked at slippers and was looking at pumps. 
and these are there and there were literally two sizes five left and these fit my insoles they're a bit tight but they fit them that is why i want them because when we're going on holiday we might be going to i'm hoping we go to the iron man which is at lambedrog is it i don't know i can't remember but it's a proper steep climb to get to the iron man um and it's all steps that have been basically caved into the wall of the mountain no handrails and you need good boots to go up it but yes i bought these because these are really sturdy like they look proper like hiking boots but yes these were 18 quid and the problem is they're made out of like fake leather are they it is made using a water-based upu coating up in, outside outside is made of recycled firm plastic rubber but when they walk in them they actually creak and the sound is awful um but yes 18 quid i am actually going to get myself some a pair of doc martens but for the time being these are just gonna do in the end they're good they're versatile they're just plain black but i do want some black Mart dark martens there is some i've seen but they're they're extortionate when i got my floral ones which i've got in the bin because actually i've worn them and they didn't they, i couldn't wear them with my insoles so i'm not wearing them for ages but when i did wear them the back of the heel were rubbing a hole through the actual inside so there's a hole in it so i've just thrown them away they are quite old um but yes yeah, doc martens are extortionately expensive them ones they were bargain them floral boots i had the daisy ones were 55 quid when i bought them years ago but now in the sale you get them maybe like 120 and it's just like me i'm like nah i don't want to pay that much yet um but yeah that's why i got these and then also i got a pair of floral pumps because the other ones um i've been wearing them with it being warm in the uk once again um it's gone back to cold that's why i'm in a jumper um but yes yeah, got these floral the pink floral um camisoles they're really good the nice girl dresses just the, the ones i've been wearing have gone like an off brown because i've just been wearing them a lot so i some fresh ones and they were advertised at five pound but they were three quid so that was a bargain right now on to oh, i forgot they had sticker residue on the bottom Ugh. um because i got them whilst it was really hot the um the stickers that stick to the bottom of the shoes the actual adhesive melted and it was just literally like sticky tie. It was awful. Um, right, what next? What should I do next? What should I do next? I'll do this one. Um, yes, and this one, this one's all, this one's like payday all the thing. Right, so some of this stuff I've probably not seen, I've not seen in ages. Um, right, so I got a thermal uh, insulated um, cool bag. This was from B&M. No, it wasn't. It was from Home Bargains. I have pulled my neck because I reached too far and I've got a right pull down the side of my neck now. Um, this was from Home Bargains and it was... No, it wasn't. Where the heck did I get this? I got it from Home Bargains, but I don't have the receipt. Oh, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't know the receipt is. I have no idea how much this was. I've forgotten. Um, but it's just an insulated um, like lunch bag. I just thought when I go out like shopping to when I do my Sainsbury shop, if I get a couple of things at a fridge, at least I can take this with me and I actually have a thermal fridge bag then. It has come in handy for when we go trampolining. Um, I do take, I fill up with snacks because it is a bit of a, we go at one o'clock is our booking. So it's like, it was a bit of a um, wait for like lunch and that. So at least then I have um, snacks with me. But it has come in handy and will come in handy for like lunches and stuff in the future. Um, also in home bag I've got five sterile adhesive dressings. Because when I shaved my legs, I accidentally cut myself in three places in the same spot. And it was quite a big it just wouldn't stop bleeding and the other pastas I had were small ones and it didn't stop bleeding for two days. It eventually it scabbed over now, it's all fine now. But every time I took the plaster off, it just re bleed again. So that's why I got these, just in case in the future I have a cut or anything that's bigger, that needs something big. I got these, they're a bargain actually. They were 49... 49p these were. 49 whole p. And now Queenie is at my door. And yes, I am surviving, soon to be thriving. Miranda Hart, I absolutely love the woman. 
Yeah, I absolutely love Miranda Hart. She's hilarious. I just wish she'd tour. Um, but I've got a tote bag because she does have a website. A merch site, should I say. I got this fabric dressing strip in. Um, just so that, um, again, if you have something that needs a bigger bandage, a bigger plaster, I've got it. Never be too prepared. Um, I then got myself two new these Nutridol, uh Super Fresh. These are amazing. These once they're open, they smell amazing for about two weeks, and then just the smell fades. But the gel inside gets smaller and smaller, so you know when to dispose of it, because then it goes to a complete plastic inner, and then can bin them. But yes, they're great for freshening up the bedroom, and I like the pink one as well. But then ones are the best ones. They were 99p each, I'm sure. I can't remember though because I said the receipt is not here. I got Winnie some markies. I didn't realise that I'd got her the original size and that the minis, the mini, bloody hell, the mini has a little tiny little cocker spaniel on the front or a little tiny, no don't, it's a jack Russell on the front. I got the one with the blubbing Labrador golden retriever on the front. She still eats them, just that they're bigger than the minis. But, hmm. Um, I wondered where these had gone. I got some Werther's Originals for the trip to Wales. Cause, or just like in general, but I just thought for the car, the grab our taxi. Um, I love Werther's. Love them so much. Um, haven't had them in a while so far. I'm going to get a bag of them. Can't beat Werther's Originals. Like just for a quick, just a, a nice little candy. A nice little sugary candy. At Sainsbury's, and this is going a bit off topic, um, but I'll do it at the bottom of the bag. I got three packs of the Bassett's adult multivitamins, they were three for two, so £7 each. I got three boxes for 14 quid instead of 21. Um, but yes, got three boxes of them because I needed them. Ah, oh, from Poundland, I also got myself a new pencil holder, stationery holder thing. It's this. Um, cube square that's um, divided into four cube squares uh, so I've got my scissors in one corner, pens in this corner, um, pencils in that corner and coloured and markers in there and yes I love it, absolutely love it, it's so simple but the other one had gone rusty and yes it had gone in the bin. I bought some cheap cups from Poundland, they were 75p just for like when I want a drink and a cab of Russian bottle up, just for laziness really. They're just the watermelon ones. I also got some of these. I'm gutted about this. So I've been buying myself silicone earplugs from Boots. They cost just under six quid a pop. And I need them for my left ear. I buy these from Boots, buy your ears. These are just under six quid a pop, it's a joke. Um, but I use them because I were getting reoccur re um, reoccurring ear infections from bathing and the water getting stuck in this ear because this ear canal is much thinner than that ear. So that ear don't get infected but this one does. So I've been using the, um, I've been using them silicone ear plugs every time in the bath now. It works a dream, it's amazing. But as I said, they're six quid a pop and they're really good but they're six quid. So when I went to one bargains I saw these. These are Hush silicone earplugs. Those I have to get have to be waterproof. But these are for swimming. It is great. Soft, comfortable and easy to fit. One ninety nine these were and you get seven pairs in a pack which is going to be seven for me because I don't use two at the same time. Anyway as I was saying these earplugs one ninety nine. $1.99. Silicone earplugs, ideal for sleeping, relaxing, outdoor recreation, travelling and swimming. They are waterproof, which is what I need. So yes, I've got these hush plugs. We're going to try them out when it's trying to focus on the woman's face. We'll see what they like. But for $1.99, can't go wrong. Very annoyed that I've only found out now that I'm going to do them when I've been spending six quid on them every time to buy a new pack. Right. In this last bag is my Mickey Mouse bag, the Disney 100 year. This is a mixture once again. I bought three boxes of pickups from Sainsbury's on Hedro in town um, because I love them. They're 165 and they're just ideal for a lunch snack at work. Um, but today is my last lunch shift 
where I have a lunch break um, as my other shift is only four and a half hours. I do get a break, but I won't be having lunch, I'll be having a snack. But yes, I got three packs of these because they're lovely. I love them so much and I haven't had them in at least a month, so I bought three boxes of them. They're just nice to have like as a pickup. They are called pickups for the reason of being a pickup. They won 65 each. Um, I also bought two bags of M&M's chocolate. I also bought two bags of Smarties. Um, they were 165 each. The Smarties were 135 something. Um, I also got, I went to Home Bargains, got myself an umbrella because it was looking like it was going to rain and it was um, drizzling a bit but I didn't have one with me so I got this one, it was $3.99 um, it's just this butterfly one, it's a very small handy one um, but yes yeah, it's by Salisbury's, not Sainsbury's, it's like Salesbury's or Salisbury's but yes yeah, got that because I thought you know what well, it'd be funny if it was saying this, but it isn't. Um, I need an umbrella and four quid. I was like, it's ideal. Hopefully, it won't break. Then I got two packs of these pure baby cotton buds, seventy-five p each. Or the Johnson's ones were one pound and something. So I bought two boxes of these. I use them for my ears, just cleaning it outside after my bath, and also for taking the excess room nail varnish off of my fingers when it's on my skin. So these come in handy. I use them basically every day. So I bought two boxes of them, and you get three hundred buds in a pack. So yes, seventy-five p, absolute bargain. Um, we were going to Wales. I did need Diddy stuff this year. We were only going for a week, so we only needed a Diddy Colgate. So this was 99p. Everywhere else, the £1.80 due to the free for two offer. But in her bargains, 99p. Alongside that, I got a toothbrush case, which I was going to take and get a collapsible toothbrush. But then decided, no, I'll just get a toothbrush case instead. So I've got plenty of toothbrushes. This is great. It's bamboo but there's no plastic packaging on it whatsoever except this sticker so this was yes and nails are long by the way this was 39p bargain and it's pink there's also green and it's falling on the floor i got two bags packs of these 40 handy bags um for my small bin they were 79p each i completed the monopoly map the Monopoly stamp map, thank God, it took me long enough. Then I got this mini word search, a best ever word search, has over 130 puzzles, 89p, bargain for my holiday, because it's just ideal size, and when I saw it was 89p, or the RRP was 3 dollars yep, thank you very much. I then got this Dizzy Panda cleanser, which was 99p, this is a crystal glow cleanser, watermelon extract, glycerin and collagen, double hydration. This is a dupe of the Drunk Elephant um, designer range. This is the Home Bargains Dizzy Panda range. And this was only 99p, so we shall see how that goes. And then I bought Lou Lucy. I bought Winnie, the actual markers that I wanted to get her, which has the Jack Russell on the front. And they're mini markers. They're the ones that she wants. And um, these were... £1.25 I think and that is it that is the end of a haul um, thank you for watching I shall see you all next week with a brand new video no idea what it's going to be I will have obviously the um, the it will be the suitcase in the entertainment bag haul that's what haul suitcase awesome suitcase awesome the entertainment bag because as I said I'm going to go for a week so I'm taking a lot less than I normally take and go for two weeks but that shall be next week I love you all guys I'll see you all next week with a brand new video bye